That developing story out of downtown Buffalo. Those who came out to Canal Side were in for quite the show last night. Hundreds of people were captured on video running for cover after reports of shots fired spread through the crowd. Police are investigating those reports. They say there was no shooting. But regardless, families who wanted to enjoy the holiday on Buffalo's waterfront say they left Canal Side in fear. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller is live at Canal Side with more. Well, Ashley, it was just about 24 hours ago now when more than 20,000 people were down here at Canal Side for the fireworks display. But spectators I talked to say chaos erupted, and tonight I spoke with one Western New York family who witnessed it all. It was, it was just terrifying. It was just terrifying. A fun 4th of July turned chaotic for thousands of people attending the Canal Side fireworks last night. People were scared. People were in tears, people were on their phones. The Clerk family was one of those in that crowd who, shortly after the fireworks went off, saw hundreds of people bolting for the exits. Everybody that was running, you just heard little snippets of guns, shooting, you know, the, like the key words that you never, ever want to hear. That's when Tara Baker Clerk and her husband Jamie say they grabbed their two young children and started to run, not knowing what was going on. We were gone pretty pretty quickly. We found a fence that people had already broke down to get out, and we that's the way we went out. When I had my family, I was scared. I you know I I tried to act like the mature one and find you know the easiest way out, and but I mean I was panicked as well. Run, run, run. This cell phone video was shot during the incident as people were running for the exits. Buffalo police say they are still investigating those reports of shots fired. In a statement, Robert Joya, the chairman for the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation, which runs Canal Side, writes, quote, there were also some minor incidents and an unconfirmed report of shots fired. In all cases, Canal Side private security, with the help of Buffalo police and Buffalo peacemakers, responded quickly to defuse the situations. Safety is our top priority at Canal Side, and we have a zero tolerance policy for unruly or risky behavior. Still, given last night's commotion, the Clerk family says it may be a while before they return to Canal Side at night. But the, the whole mood kind of changed. It got too crowded, and there was a lot of people being really rowdy. And um, I don't think that I would ever take my kids down there again at night. Included in that statement from Canal Side, officials say they will be developing an enhanced security plan alongside the Buffalo Police Department to help minimize violence at future events. We did request an on camera interview tonight with Canal Side officials, but at this point, we haven't heard back, but we'll keep you posted. For now, I'm live at Canal Side, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you very much, Hannah. And that was